Hey everybody, welcome back to the Mac Whisperer Academy. I'm Dylan Stewart, the Mac Whisperer. And if you're looking for a simple and easy way to edit or crop an image file, or to mark up or even sign a document right from your iPhone, then this lesson is just for you. Let's hop on in and get started. We all know how valuable our iPhone is. We use it all the time for everything. And yet for some reason, there are these little tasks that we don't do on it. One of them is signing, marking up, or editing image files or documents. This is a task that most people wait till they get in front of a computer to do. But after today's lesson, you're gonna know how to do it easily and simply right from your phone. Let's hop on over to my phone and take a look. Markup is a very powerful tool that exists in many spots on the phone and can allow you to draw arrows or crop or edit an image or even sign a document with ease. It can be done with a photograph, with a document, or with a screenshot on your phone. To start things off, we're going to go ahead and take a screenshot and work with markup from there. I'm going to go into Safari. And the first thing we need to know is how to take a screenshot on the iPhone. So if you have a phone without a home button, you're going to tap the left top button and the right button simultaneously. That's the left volume up button and the right power button at the same time, just tapping them. If you have a phone with a home button, you're going to press the home button and the right top button at the same time. When you tap them, you're going to see your whole screen flash and you're going to see an image go down in the lower left corner like this. When you see that image, if you tap on the image, it brings it up into markup mode and you're already halfway there. From this screen right here, there's a couple of things I want you to notice. First, you can easily crop this screenshot by taking these bars at the top and moving them up or down or left or right. You can focus your screenshot on exactly the part of the image that you need to showcase. But if you're in Safari, there's an extra tip I want you to be aware of. If you see up at the top, it says screen versus full page. Sometimes you're taking a screenshot of a web page and you don't just want this much of it, you want the entire web page. And all you have to do is click where it says full page in the upper right hand corner. And you'll notice that now on the far right side, you've got that entire web page available and you can screenshot the entire thing or just crop a particular section of it. For this example, I'm just going to do the screenshot. The first thing I'm going to do is crop this image a little bit. I don't really need the toolbar at the bottom. I don't really need the time and the other information at the top. So I'm going to pull that little bar down. We're just going to go right to the top of that part there and up here. And it immediately resizes and crops that image. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up our markup tools. The markup tools are hidden under this little pen icon at the top of your screen. So clicking that shows the tools down at the bottom. You'll see a marker, a highlighter, a pencil, an eraser, a ruler, and a couple of other tools that we'll talk about in a moment. The first thing to know is which tool is selected. And if you look along the bottom here, you're going to notice that one tool is always just a little bit higher than the other ones. In this case, it's the eraser. But if I tap on the marker, you'll notice that the eraser drops down and the marker raises up. That tool is the one that's selected. And if I draw right now, we're going to use that particular tool. You've also got an undo button in the upper left corner here. I'm going to click that to get rid of that image. When you click on a tool that's already selected, like the marker is here, you get additional options, like the ability to adjust the size and shape of the stroke or the opacity of that tool. Different tools have different effects. The marker is bold, the pencil is a little bit lighter, the highlighter is a little bit wider and has a natural opacity so that you can easily read things right through it rather than having it blocked out. The eraser is really cool. When you click on the eraser, you have two options. So first, let's draw something with the pen, just so we have something to work with on this image. Here's my smiley face. Now, I'm going to go click on the eraser. When you click on the eraser the second time, it brings up a couple of tools. One of them is called the pixel eraser, and the other one is called the object eraser. And the difference between the tools is that the pixel eraser can eliminate just a part of a drawing, so I can just get part of the face off of there. Whereas the object eraser will clear off the entire image just like that. 
One of the other tools I really like here is the ruler. So let's go ahead and click on the ruler and you'll notice it immediately puts a ruler right on the screen for you. And you can use two fingers to grab that ruler and adjust it. Notice the level in the middle that tells you when you're at zero, when you're at 45, when you're at 90 degrees, so you can have a straight line. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just put that right there. And I'm gonna grab my pen and I'm going to draw along the ruler with my pen, just like that. And now I've got a nice straight line right there, easy for everybody to see what I'm focusing on. And I can also tilt the ruler like this and I can do it like that, just like that. When you're done with the ruler, tap it and it will disappear from the screen, but it'll leave whatever images you drew, which I like a lot. One of the other things that you can do is you can use this little tool called the select tool. And the select tool will allow you to grab any drawings that you've got on the screen. So I'm gonna take my finger and draw a little circle right around here. That allows me to grab that section of the drawing. And now as I move it, you see our little X move around with me. So let's go ahead and click on our marker on the left side here. I'm gonna change the color of the marker by clicking on this colored wheel that we see to the right. You can see in the center that it's red. I'm gonna click on it. Let's change it to blue. You'll also notice down at the bottom some of the most commonly used colors are there and you can press the plus button to add a different one. So if I really wanted to use this shade of purple, I could select it and then press the plus button right at the bottom and that purple will be preset for future markups that I wanna do. I'm gonna go ahead and click the X. We're currently selected on purple and now if I draw, you're gonna see that it's that purple color. Now I wanna to talk to you about the most powerful part of this markup toolbar which is all hidden under this little plus button. Let's go ahead and click it. Inside this plus button, you will find the ability to add a description, to add text to your image or document, which we'll do in a moment, to add a signature, which we'll do in a moment, or to change the magnification or even add specific shapes like an arrow. Arrows can be extremely helpful in a markup document to point the attention of the viewer to what you want them to see. You can adjust it by grabbing the blue ball at the end and pointing it at whatever you want the viewer to be looking at. You can also adjust the bend of the arrow by grabbing the green ball and kind of moving it in case you need to avoid a particular part of the image so that they see exactly what you're looking at. You can also use the plus button to grab a circle and move that circle to wherever you need it to be to really make sure the person is paying attention to what you need them to be looking at. And again, you can also use the colors at the bottom to change the color of that arrow or that circle. So those are some of the basic tools that you're gonna find within a screenshot image. And they're all really helpful. When you're done, you can either press the share button in the upper right corner here and email that, text that, or airdrop that to anyone who needs it. Or you can click the done button in the upper left corner here, which will give the option to save that into your files or your photos or to delete it altogether. And now let's move over to another place that you can use markup, your photos. So let's head over to my photos where I've got a photograph of a room we're doing some redecoration on. Right from the Photos app, I can click the Edit button in the upper right corner, and then I can click the little markup tool that we see right in that right corner. And once I've got it, I can zoom into the image. I can grab my ruler, draw a line right where I need it to be. In this case, I want it to be right there. And hit the plus button, grab myself a square because we want a new photograph there. Resize that square to about what we need it to be. Put it into position, just like that. And then, I can click the plus button again and add a little bit of text that says, put the Picasso here. I'm gonna notice that text's way bigger than I need it to be. So I'm gonna click on it and in the lower left corner, I see those A's. Those A's will allow me to adjust the size very simply, make it a little bit smaller. I can take that and put it right here. And if I ever buy a Picasso, that's where I'll be putting it. And then when you're done, you click the done button and it's gonna save that right into my photo library. But there's one more place you can use markup and it might be the most valuable place of all. And that's to sign a document. So let's hop over to my email here. And I've got a document that somebody sent me that I need to fill out and send back. I'm gonna click on it. And here's this document. Now in the upper right hand corner, you're gonna notice that markup tool. Let's go ahead and click it. 
And we see our tools drop down at the bottom. This could allow me to use a pen to draw something, add an arrow to something, to highlight something if I needed to. But in this case, I just need to add a signature. One of the things you need to know when you're inside markup is that using your finger is generally gonna draw on stuff. So you need to use two fingers to scroll if you need to move around in the document. In this case, I need to be at that bottom of the document where it's got the signature field. I'm gonna click the plus button on the bottom right here and you're gonna see a section for signatures. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Now in my case, I've got several signatures I've already added into this. When you add a signature from your phone or from your computer, they synchronize so they're available on all of your devices. If you haven't seen my video teaching how to create signatures on your computer, you can check that out by clicking the link up above. But if you don't have a signature yet, it's no problem. You can click the add or remove signature button right here, click the plus button in the upper left hand corner, and you'll get an option to draw right on your iPhone screen to create your new signature. Once you've created it, click the Done button, and it will plant that signature right on the document on the page that you've got open. You can now move that signature to wherever you need it to be, and using the balls around it, make it bigger if need be. Put it right on the proper line, like that. And then if you want to, you can just send that document right back to the person and be complete. If I click done here, it's going to give me an option. And the option will be, do I reply to the email that this was from? Do I send it to somebody in a new message or do I just save this? So right from here, I can say new message and that signed document goes here. I can send it to whoever needs it and I can be done with that form without waiting until I get home. So now you really have no excuse to wait to sign that document or to make those notations or adjust that image right from your phone. So that's what I've got for today's lesson, how to use markup from your phone to edit or crop an image, to add text or shapes or even a signature to a document and do it all right from the palm of your hand. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson and if you got some great value out of it, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the little notify bell so that you always get alerted whenever I put out new videos. I'm Dylan Stewart. They call me the Mac Whisperer and it's my passion and profession to help people get more done in less time and with less effort than they ever thought possible. And with that being said, I'll see you at the next lesson.